Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a game that's been out since the 26th of August uh, about crafting and automating your very own industrial empire. It's called Incremental Factory. In this quick first look, we're just going to have a quick look at the game, see how it works, the mechanics, managing resources, production chains, and see how we get on. I've uh, had a quick look at the game. It's, uh, it's, it's not very graphical in the traditional sense. It sort of like goes back to a, um, I'd say a realistic look at a production chain rather than have all the graphical elements and things. You're actually building it um, like Factorio or like in the 3D space, like in Satisfactory. This is more of a um, logistical sort of overlook of everything. So it's, it's a different take on it. And we'll, uh, we'll see how we go on, shall we? Cue the intro. So, here we go. Incremental Factory. The factory must grow. Version 7.43. Like I said, this game has been out since the 26th of August. It really doesn't take a lot of hardware, computer-wise, to, uh, to run. So, good to know. Single player game, so it doesn't have any multiplayer or co-op elements to it. And they describe it as being similar to Factorio, Mini Metro, Polybridge, Prison Architect, Automation, Dyson Sphere Program, and Satisfactory. So I, I, I guess it takes like elements from all those kind of games and puts it, like I said, into this sort of logistical overlay type gameplay. Uh, the video, I was going to say stream then, we're not live streaming. So... Here is we sort of mine manually and then we unlock different things as we go along. So now we can build a kiln. Kiln requires two stone and two coal. So if we do that, we now have a kiln and we can mine stone and coal. We can also make an iron smelter, but for that we need five bricks, which are automatically be made down there. We now have more than five bricks, we can build an iron smelter. We got iron ore now we can now make. Welcome, Operator. I see you started alone, a solitary figure grappling with the indifferent forces of the universe. What a fitting metaphor for the human condition. How about we build some miners? Iron stone coal to get started. Let's do that. Iron miner. So the iron miner requires four bricks, and I'm guessing that will automate the production of iron ore. Um, so we need to get a bit more stone on the go and more coal just to get our resources up a little bit. We got iron ore. So now we should have enough to build an iron miner. So the minimum yields 20%, stone 119%, the resources remaining 49,942. Coal we have quite a bit left and iron we have quite a bit left. Um, stone miner, we can build one of those, and a coal miner, we need, what do you need to build a coal miner? I think we just unlocked that one, yep, there we go. I was thinking, if nothing matters, then we are free to impose our own meaning. For example, we can try to create something extraordinary and stand in awe of its fleeting beauty. Well, if that is our goal, we need to know how much our buildings are utilised. Let's activate the utilization bar. Note, whole power plants only produce as much power as is needed right now. Utilization bar. Okay. So do we have, we do have a stone miner, but are we producing enough? I think we need another stone miner. Iron ore. Like I've played Satisfactory and stuff before, so I'm very familiar with these type of games. It's just, it just takes a little while, I guess, to get a grip with something new, doesn't it? So I don't know, you guys probably, if you have played the game before, watch other people uh, playing it, you're probably like shouting at the screen right now. It's like, you need to do this. Coal power plant, there we go. We have some, we have power now, we have energy. When more energy is used and produced, production rates are reduced. But we're definitely okay on energy because we're using three out of 16 at the moment. Uh, coal power plant. So if we get another coal miner on the go. Utilization is green which means we're making enough, I'm guessing. And then this one needs to go up. Gear press. So to make a gear press, we need 
two iron plates and two energy. But we have iron plates, so we can make one of them. Red science laboratory. We need 0.5 gears and three energy to make one red science. So we are making gears slowly. Um, iron ore, are we... Are we not producing enough iron ore? Ah, there we go. It's, it was in deficit, now I think we're okay. So we're producing 2.3, consuming 2... Okay, so that was in red. Um, good, 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 good. Um, iron miner, iron plates. We need an iron smelter, which... Oh, so the iron smelter, yeah, is using, uh, producing iron plates. I'm guessing that's maxed out to 10 at the moment. The red science laboratory. We have one of those now. They're all still looking okay. Green science laboratory. We need copper cables, bricks, and energy. So copper cables. How does one make copper cables? Oh, research. Parcel. Research. Parcels. Okay, research. Expansion tech. Unlocks the map and the ability to build more parcels. Uh, node parcel tech. Drone tech tier. Ooh. Science must be in HQ or warehouse parcels to be used. But we need to unlock the ability to make copper. Is that something we need to do from here? Space logistics. Mm. <laughs> uh, right. Do, 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 do. What am I missing here? Are we not producing enough? Oh, we're missing 47 bricks. Okay. How many bricks do we need for that? 24. We're missing 40 bricks. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to go up a little bit then. And then we can get our green science laboratory. But at the moment, we don't have red science that we need for stuff. Are we producing enough red science? I don't think we are. I think we need to produce more red science. And even more red science. Low on energy. You are running low on energy. Your buildings are producing less now. Build coal power plants to produce more energy. We need iron plates for that. We need another iron smelter to produce more. So I'm guessing they can only hold 10 maximum per uh, smelter. So now we can make another coal power plant. There we go. We're definitely producing enough ore, but now we need more iron ore. Let's get another iron miner on the go. So we need three, two, one iron plates to build another one of these. Go. There we are. We're, we're in positive rate now. Good. And we're missing 77 bricks. We could make... Um, ah, we can uh, build them from there too. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Right, so we need more bricks. We need 40 more bricks. We're doing okay. 18, 16, 14. Oh, we're not producing enough stone, so let's get another stone miner on the go. There we are. Now we're flying. Okay, we're missing... We're missing nothing, apparently, but we still can't build the green laboratory. How much red science do we have? 0 0.1. 0 0.5 gears. Three times energy produces 0.1 red science. Ah, we can now unlock this. So let's unlock that. What does that do? Explore the map. Explore the map view. This is where you can create parcels and grow your factory. Map. Ah, HQ. You can create a parcel by double-clicking anywhere on the map. Add parcel production. Okay. Link them up. Connections transport resources between parcels at a rate of up to eight items per tick. This what if we do iron ore. So that's the HQ. Um, backspace or right-click on a connection to delete it. Delete a parcel, shift select to select a parcel, and backspace to, or delete to delete it. Or you can just click it, delete. Deliver iron plates. Now that you know the basics, it's time to put your knowledge to the test. Deliver iron plates to the HQ. Create a quick parcel. You can quickly create a parcel by dragging a new connection into empty space. But we want to deliver to the HQ, don't we? So it's maybe that one. And then um, iron plates. So it's iron ore, coal, iron plates. 
smart sort in the past of your source buildings by likelihood of you wanting to build them. This is especially useful in combination with the quick create feature. And where is that? <laughs> smart sword. Ah, there, okay. Smart sword. Iron smelter. The production one is going to be um, production iron ore. No, iron plates even. And then we need to build an iron smelter. Um, minus 10 tons. Plus five tons. Is that all we need? Now that we activated Smart Sword, let's create one more parcel with the Quick Create feature. Pro tip the resources in the parcel Quick Create pop up are also sorted. What you're looking for most of the time is at the top. We don't need to make a gear press, do we? We can change the color of it too. Orange. So it's not outputting anything. Why is it not outputting anything? But resource. Oh, we need to get it started. We have the iron smelter to turn iron ore into and coal. Ah, right. We need a coal miner. We need an iron miner. So yeah, coal energy. Um, so we need a coal power plant. So iron ore we're in a deficit of, so we need to make some more of those. Iron miner. If we have too many of these, the reduce that. And we need to uh, mine more coal. There we go. So utilization's looking okay, I think. We're under our energy usage, so we should be outputting. There we are. Nice. Great. Uh, quick create one more time. Um, yes. There we are. We can delete that now. <laughs> Press Alt, um, map option while clicking on a building to build the maximum amount of that building. Un unlock drone tech to copy. Unlock drone tech to copy. Okay, oh, we got some research that we can do though. Research, um, extraction tech tier one. Unlocks parcel. All extraction buildings boost output by 130%. Seems like a good one to go for. Maybe not what we needed. Not what we wanted, but it's what we needed. Right, so we are now making iron plates. We are not making iron plates because we're outputting them all to HQ. That's why. So iron plates. So HQ doesn't really need to make iron plates anymore, does it? Now we boost the output. So coal ash, what does the coal ash do? So a coal power plant has enough energy. Iron smelter, I suppose if we were to increase that, and then we need another iron miner. So five iron smelters, nine iron miners, two coal miners, one coal power plant, and that is enough to output a decent amount. Oh, five, okay. Five a second, that's pretty decent. We have lots and lots of iron plates now, though, because this HQ is making them, and also this production thingy is. Oh, you know, I need to make that. Add parcel extraction. All extraction buildings gain 130% input. Ah, okay. So we could have this feed into this, and then make iron ore. And then another one, maybe, doing coal. And then this wouldn't need to do iron uh, either. So if we delete the iron miners and the coal miners, and then we get extraction iron miner, and then two coal miners. Now that's outputting to today. 1.5 tons. We need more coal. Why is it not extracting coal? Because we need a coal miner. That is BY. <laughs> the coal we need another 1.5 tons. 
we get another coal miner there. Coal miner, does that need power? I don't think it does. So 3.9 a second. We'll need more coal, apparently. It's probably the fact that it's not powered, isn't it? Coal miner. Output 4.5 tons. And we got the iron ore. Iron miner. Is that actually outputting, though? I guess it is. Maybe it's not. Again, it probably needs power, doesn't it? Coal power plant. And one coal, mower, uh, coal miner. Power it. Is that receiving enough now? No. In 3.47, right, minus 1.5 tons. And that should be outputting. It's, it's making it. Same as this one should be. It's 340 there, is it not? Is it not being transported over? What am I missing? This doesn't seem to be changing. Or is it stopped producing because this is full of iron plates? No, it's still making its own iron plates. Hmm. Iron ore, eight. No, it's not producing its own iron ore at the moment. It's using it. Is it not being shipped across? Line parcels to the left. Full extraction buildings gain plus 30% output boost. I mean, it should be moving 7.73 a second. Is that not enough? It must be. I mean, it's making it. It's not making iron ore, though. Or is that because it's making 7.73 tons and shipping out? Probably don't need two coal miners then just to run a power plant. Probably have too much coal. But there's only one output on these, so we can't do coal on both. And then this one's outputting coal. It's creating 7.23 tons and outputting 0.97, but this is saying that there's a deficit then of iron ore and coal. Hmm. In 1.2, consuming 1.14. Why is there a deficit? There shouldn't be a deficit. Moving coal over. Well, that is... If we get rid of the iron miner and the iron smelter a sec... This should be sending iron plates in. We also don't really need... Yeah, the iron smelter, the iron miner. So now we're consuming... Hmm. Research. Node parcel tech. I wonder if that's something to do with it. Maybe it can't pass enough through. <laughs> Yeah, that's producing lots and lots of coal. It's just not passing it all through. Because the coal is to run the power plant, which is producing enough energy, I'm guessing. But yeah, it's producing ash, so it must be producing energy. It's moving all the iron ore out. Okay, let's ramp that up then. Iron miner... We don't need the iron smelter, do we? Because that's what this is doing. This is smelting the iron. Uh, so we don't need the smelter. We just need the miner. So we get 10 iron miners going there. That's ramping up. So it's 8 a second. I'm guessing it just can't pass enough through at a time. Is that what it is? Unlock steel mill. Do -do 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 
Construction resources by buildings, they must be stored in HQ or warehouse parcels. Can we build a warehouse parcel? No, I don't think we can yet, actually. Well, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Node parcel tag unlocks node parcel times two edge throughput limit for outputs. Inputs from extraction parcels have unlocks the map and the ability to build parcels. Unlocks parcel or extraction buildings boost. X amount. Okay, so if we go to this one then. Parcel one. Or one extraction parcel. So we're definitely extracting enough iron ore. Like we have lots and lots of it. But we can only output eight tons into the production parcel. So I'm guessing then that having this is no good. And having this also is no good. So this will just have to start making its own again. Let's get the iron miners fired back up. Coal miner fired back up. We need... There we go. So we're no longer in a deficit for that one. Right. That's now making iron plates again. Iron plates into HQ. Green science. We're missing copper cables. Research excavation tech and beat level one. The excavation tech is... Here. So we need 1,000 red research. So to quicken that then, let's build another few red science laboratories. So now we have a deficit of iron plates, so we need to up the iron smelter. Make iron plates. We have a positive amount of them. Um, iron ore, we need iron miners then. Back into action. There we go, that's a positive amount now. Gears, we need the gear presses. Positive amount. Iron plates are sort of drawing equal on, which is probably good, rather than making too many. Now, um, iron smelters. Probably need another one of those then, just to make a slight access to allow for variations. There we go, utilization is going up. Do we have too many iron smelters? No, I don't think we do. If anything, we don't have enough. That all seems to be working okay, though. The utilization is zero. What does that mean? Utilization is low. That's a bad thing, surely. Coal? Do I think our power rate's okay? Low on energy. You're running low on energy. Oh, it's up there, yeah. We are running low on energy. That'd be why. Um, coal power plant. Now we have enough energy. Coal miner. Now we're still doing okay for coal. We're still doing okay on coal. The iron smelt utilization has dropped. So does that mean we're producing too many? Yep, we have too many. So iron smelter, we can lower that. We'll draw equal on that one. But that should maintain. Um, kiln, drop down. Iron miner, drop down. As close as we can. Coal. And get away with one, maybe. Oh, coal power plant. Oops, didn't mean to lower that one. Not the one I wanted to lower. It was this one. <laughs> Stone. We need to lower that down. All right, these are all sort of making just enough for what we need at the moment now. So I feel like that's more efficient. Um, coal power, power plant. We need some more power. Right. So now we're producing lots of red research points. We have 298 going at a decent pace. Steel mill research. I mean, can't hurt to include a steel mill, right? So five iron plates, three energy equals one steel. Steel mill. That's going to throw everything out now. So we need iron smelter. And we need lots more iron ore. And we need more coal. And now we need more energy. We're using 96% of our energy reserves. So we're going to pop another coal power plant in there. Add another coal miner. 
and now we're drawing equal, but we're also making steel node. What does a node do? Probably should have read that. So two times base throughput on output connections equals 16 per node. So does this make it quicker then? If I were to pass um, rate maximum output eight tons. So this isn't producing enough iron plates now for the HQ. We are making our own iron plates at the HQ as well, aren't we? Yes. So, if we were to move that there, bang this in the middle, connect this to this, um, iron plates, and then this to this, iron plates. Now, will that pass through? So, eight, eight. But that one's fully utilized, and this one's only like a half utilized, so I wonder... If you'd have like two going into there, say like iron plates, um, an edge with the same resource target could already exist. Okay, so that what doesn't work then. That doesn't make it any quicker. So that one's only 50% utilized. But if we were to do that and then do iron plates, we can't have the same output twice. Hmm. Well, there we go, folks. I did say this was going to be a, f a quick first look at uh, Incremental Factory. I'm slowly getting to grips with it. You might have a, bet a lot better luck with it, but it does seem like quite a fun game, and there's a lot of thought that needs to go into what you're doing. Maybe I'm just playing it the wrong way, but let me know what you think of the game in the comments. And remember, the link below, first three people to click it and get the game for free, courtesy of the developers. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and like the video as well, be very helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.